I'm back, but apparently, two avatars died. <sighs> it's just one of those days. There we go. Stream Avatars is live again. Extension upload. Everything seems to be in working order now. Also, here's my vector cam, which I promised for my streams and personal streams. You can now enjoy Vector in the other camera if he wakes up. Oh. Okay, everything works perfectly. Let's just get the stream started because I'm not gonna risk another countdown. I think the countdown glitched out. I'm not joking. I think the countdown glitched out because the moment I unloaded it, it the uh, stream avatars was working perfectly. So, we were... Playing this. There we go. We were playing some more. Uh, there, there, this Ace Attorney investigations. I don't think she has the money. Oh, she does. <laughs> Find it out. And yeah, I'm sorry about those little technical difficulties. I'm just going to start early, five minutes early. I don't care. It's what I have to do because, oh my god, technical difficulties. What the fuck? Anyhow. Okay, didn't save. Then you might as well load from here. Last time! <laughs> you should be taking all your cash, Moon. Do you take that from a numb Pokemon? Maybe you need to turn into a bigger Pokemon. Anyhow, uh, we have to get her to confess something, and I don't know, what, and I don't know how. I feel like I keep missing something. It appears what is wrong. Goopy. Drink in the water. I don't have logic to solve, but I only have one point. Did I miss something on the cart? No. In time, my parents. Yeah, that was a joke. But never has taken a look. Everything I can do. Okay, it's not not on the cards. We've already we've already ensured that. Oh no, still same text. The reason I'm ma mashing is because we already read the, this text in the last stream. I think these were made in the middle of the middle of years of his life, the height of his fame. He modeled them after the Roman god at the request of his beloved wife. The piece is entitled Venus the Goddess of Beauty and Her Manservant. I think it's obvious who were pants in this in a relation. There's a tulip in front of his door. Probably because this is the Spring Palace. Also a little vector here. Actually, someone on the vector Reddit has taken my ID and has gotten to work. And the way it's going, we might have in my next streaming when I'm back from Disney, there might be some vector commands soon for my streams, as in personal streams slash JCG streams whenever I can do the vector cam. Don't you think burglary is a little too beneath you? Uh, you're right. Okay. No. What about the stain? We already did that. Some 
flowers because this is the summer palace. You know, speaking of summer, it's bonus season. Fab all the stuff with cat. Oh, she's gonna throw that big bucket in. It's also feeding season. So, Griffy, don't you think big bucket is a little beneath you? Uh, I guess so. What do you have to say? Well, hello. Miles, how's the investigation going? Well, little by little, I'm be Okay, this is new, this is new, we've got something. But I'm beginning to see the entire trivia in the case. Well, that's good to hear. Uncle Ray had better not fall behind either. There we go, we needed to talk to him again. Last time I couldn't talk to him, he just gave me a big, big talk, but now we actually have everything. About the two cases. This case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. Maybe the Melodice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. The only fa the only family Mr. Dover had was a young son. His son, and Mr. Gust Mr. Gustafson, who attended the same elementary school. After the case, they both went missing. What? They've been, they haven't been found yet? Haven't heard any news about Mr. Gustafson's son being found? Okay. But after Mr. Dover's son, he was found that his inheritance was delivered to him. Because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper funeral. That way they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. The other super had also been forged, and so nobody but the defense ever found out. Von Karma, he would go that far. Fucking Von Karma. Even in later games he still has a stain. Can you tell me what kind of his this hall is? Miles, don't tell me. You're also interested in Katie? No. Well, all joking aside, what I to say is, the Kate I know is a truly a marvel woman. Which means she's always been one to remain here and wait for her master's return. However, she was driven out of the mansion by master's relatives. Ooh. What, she was driven out of the mansion? That's, that's because Kate isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. With no family and her job taken from her, she could only live on with the song and dance that Master had taught her. Well, she's now retired as a world famous actress, though. Why did she retire? Because she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. Seems she's got back the ancient recipe. See if it that was. That's the last piece of logic. The mansion where she lived with Mr. Master had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she lost. It seems that Mr. Shields sympathized with Miss Hall. But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. That's it. She has the angel's recipe. The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the Angel's Recipe. And the current owner of the Angel's Recipe is Miss Hall. Ah, so that means... Indeed, it means that it is possible she knew how to, to set the, po set the poison gas. Nah. With this, we can expose her lives for what they are. And now we confront her. Okay, I guess not! I guess that's the only thing we had to do. Now, all that's left is to wait for the results of the teapot. That's how close we were at the next chapter. Yes. Moving on. That was it. That was the last piece of information we needed. Woo! This a, um, spoilers then, Mama Lama. This is a translated version of the second Ace Attorney Investigations game. This is a translated ROM, which is why I'm playing in an emulator. I cannot play it officially because it never has been officially translated. That's why you can see those lag spikes happening and such because it's on an emulator and it's being it's auto translated. So there's also some uh, voice acting in from the translation crew. So if something feels out of place, it's probably the translation crew's voices. But it's a very good translation patch. Also, look who's in the right top corner. It's the butts. But yeah, enjoy. Uh, this is the third case. This is end third case. So we're mid game. We're mid end game. And mid game, whatever you know. Also, see that see that woman in pink on the right. 
she's a cunt. I'll just say it. I don't like her. It's a taste of normalium from the teapot. You, you can't be serious! Yes, this is how he talks to Quinky Me. He is. This is a new impostor called The Best Day. Here's something about The Best Day you should know. If you felt Winston Payne was an idiot, this guy makes Winston Payne look like a genius. That's how bad he is. Like, when you, when you have to rebuttal him, this is how the game interprets it. You get his own goofy theme song. You don't even get the serious investigation songs. You get the goofy, his goofy theme as, in, as his rebuttal. And his rebuttals are easily rebuttaled. That's how stupid he is. That's how his game doesn't care about him. But he's just a t he's just a prosecutor tool to use by the judge. The judge is the real villain. I mean, the real person who will keep you going. I'm not joking. The judge behind her. That's a judge. And she is annoying. So like Mr. Edward said, at this moment we're working with them. Darn it! Did Mr. Edward take them to <laughs> mess with me again? This is the best day. It seems like you have an obsession about being the best. But when you're on the case, winning or losing is of no importance. What are you saying? Obviously, it's, the, it's, it's best to be the best at everything. If you can't understand that, then you have no business being a prosecutor. Ooh. What? I, I... Yeah, there she is. There's Courtney. Yeah, she has her own theme and I don't like it. Please stop harassing Sebastian. Sebastian. Oh, by the way, the prosecutor counsel d does not like what Edgeworth has been doing, and, and she keeps threatening to take away his badge. A person of your caliber has no need to listen to such things. Justine, yeah, you're right. You can see, she keeps calling him. Please leave this to me. Why don't you go check on the victim's condition? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll be right back then. Alright, I'll be waiting. Judge Courtney is much more troublesome than Mr. DeBeste. Yeah. Well then. Miss Curator, can you tell us why Normally was discovered in the teapot? I was not aware that it, could, that it contained such a chemical. I was supposed to have been an ingredient from the detergent I used. So you're saying that you did not put in the put that in the liberty? No, of course not. She speaks French, by the way. He has no way for me to have known to how to create po the poison gas. Objection. Objection! Despite being a former actress, it seems you're not very good at lying. What do you mean? The angel's recipe is in your possession, and the method to create the poison gas is contained inside the recipe book. Let me say this. Remember the case that Edgeworth's dad uh, got a penalty on for karma? This is the case related to it. So... Pretty much, the the case had to do with a murder taking place in his mansion 18 years ago. The guy was still convicted guilty, not of murder, but of uh, being an accomplice of murder. But the, the body was never found. The body just showed up 18 years later in the fountain, and she owns everything. And it had all to do with a recipe book, which apparently the guy who owned the mansion is actually from a wealthy family of pharmaceuticals. But he became an actor slash pastry chef. And she pretty much owes him a lot. So he must have known how to create it. Me. I'm surprised you knew about that. Miss Curator, is this true? She pretty much got adopted by she got adopted by master by Mr. Master as an assistant, and she owes him a lot. She actually adores him, and she would do anything for him. Which is why we are suspecting her of the murder of the attempted murder of, of one of the of one of the contestants from the last uh, case. Attempted, he still survived. And we we suspect and we suspect that she tried to kill him. Because he killed the other guy in the la in the in the older case and painted on masters. So that the information about the poison is contained in one of the recipes. However, just because I saw it does not mean I was responsible for the crime. Could you tell that Tom puts it often in poison gas? 
It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the glass case with a burner. Haha! I see! If he locked himself in a room of his own will, then set off the poison gas. Wouldn't that be suggested suicide? Wouldn't that suggest suicide? Yeah, that's the pin we're trying to go with. Does she intend to deny it until the bitter end? Yeah, we know that. That means she did it. Furthermore, I wouldn't have been able to obtain the chemical like Megaton X. Megatoxin X. We know that that the Pentamore effect you need Normalium and Megatoxin X, which is Faith Vitalium. By doing that, it becomes a toxic gas and can kill people within seconds. We know that uh, one of the people in this room had Megatoxin X with her because she's a pharmaceutical and she's a chef and she's sort of a chef as well. But her Megatoxin X got stolen and she even has a report on it, so we know she probably stole it. And the reason she had it with us is because it's a strong spider poison, and she hates spiders, the, the other cook. Think it's time for her? Yeah, yeah, that's her. This is the wo that is the woman who had the Megatoxin X as a pharmacist. Think it's time for a battle royale! <laughs> Go ahead, Moon. That reminds me! I met up with Katie a week ago and... That night was when I realized that my Megatoxin X was gone. <laughs> Katie, you couldn't have! And I'm delicious. My darn delicious always carried her medicine back. Now you keep mixing up the, the accents. Anyone could have stolen it. Again, wrong accent. I, that's something from the last week. That's right, I don't have any proof that she was the one who stole it. Kate, can you tell us what you're hiding? I know you're not the kind of person who would hurt someone without a reason. What's your shield? See, that's a friend. What's your shield? You doubt me as well? And I went back to Irish within seconds. That's how bad I am with accents. Setting a trap. Setting a trap in one of the gallery's exhibition and then disguising the rooms. Yeah, the rooms were switched. I think it would have been impossible for anyone but the curator. That's not true. There are no guards or security cameras at this gallery. If any unturned person wanted to sneak in into the gallery, it would have been a, an easy task for them. Then it isn't it's the all you can steal buffet in here? You, could, you have to be careful, you may never know when a great thief could appear. Okay. No! Kate's pride did change in 18 years. The only one who didn't tell was Delicia. Delicia's the only unchanged pride. Every other pride was changed. It doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like when K says it. Actually, Monsieur Gustavio currently entered the gallery before it opened. Well, I'm beat. Looks like Uncle Ray can't do anything to break down Kate's Iron Guard. <sighs> this might be a good time to use the technique your old man taught me. The, the technique my father taught you? The case is deeply connected to the one, the one 18 years ago. If we just pursue the present case, it, it, it seems like there is a lot we don't understand. But if you try turning things around, that might be a hint in the case of the past. Oh, that's by the way, that's Ray Shields, that's... Uh, you know how Kay was a partner of Edgeworth here and Maya's partner of uh, Phoenix? This guy, Ray Shields, was the same partner to Edgeworth's dad. And he actually took over the company. He actually became a lawyer and took over the company. Thinking the other way around. Did my father do that too? For example, just consider the relation between the, the past days and Kate. This hall built the Dover sculptures 18 years ago. Today, Mr. Dover's works are on display in this gallery. It can be. She she melded the sculptures. I see. Now I know what to ask her. <laughs> That's good to hear. In that case, Uncle Ray will just have to watch you over as you, as you do your work. Oh, by the way, Ray had a case of. I write down notes. Grab the paper. Eat it. Oh, this hall goes. Yeah, that's what he did. This Catherine Hall, 18 years ago, it seems that you melted Mr. Dover's Sherba sculptures. <sighs> yes! I was sure in his place and I did something inexcusable, she by accident. However, isn't that why you were able to open the Zodiac Art Gallery? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand either. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you seek her testimony? Yes, I would like to tell me about the Zodiac Art Gallery. I would like to know the reason you decided to open a gallery for Mr. Dover's artwork. If she insists that it's related to the case and had, I will allow it. Thank you, Courtney! 
This is probably because Cordy wants to have a guilty, because at this point, all the guilty parties we could have who could have been behind it, we have absolved of guilt. So she's probably working with us because she wants a guilty party too, so the best day can sue them. Your testimony if you please. Very well. If that will clear your suspicions of about me? Now then, please testify about the Zodiac Art Gallery. Here we go. A little bit lag. There we go. The Zodiac Art Gallery. 18 years ago, Mr. Master was arrested and I was only able to buy back the mansion. Yeah, so 18 years after he was arrested. Then, in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. I collected Pierre Hoko's work all over the, from all over the world. After that, I was doomed to open the Zodiac Art Gallery. Hmm, that's a little bit lacking. It's a wonderful that your dream has come true. What do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I don't believe there was anything strange about her testimony. Yeah, that's why we have to ask. Judge Courtney, I believe in the courtroom. It is standard to cross and examine the witness. Wouldn't you agree it's a little too early to say that there is no contradictions? Mm-hmm. You speak like a defense attorney. Very well. Proceed as you please. Rebuttal. How was she able to buy back? Hold it! That's the first question. I must have, it must have taken a lot of hard work these five years to buy back the mansion. Oh, she's singing. The place is full of memories of Monsieur Master. It is the only place for me. I'm not a singer. Leave that to Will. And yes, she did a little dance. No matter what, at any cost, I wanted it back. At any cost, eh? Left hand did what I can act. She looks like she's having fun. Wow, she's a former actress, singing and dancing is her livelihood. Enough with, with the singing. Please continue your testimony. That was that was a dead end. Then, in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. Hold it. Maintain it. Are you managing this gallery by yourself? The body. She knew the body was here. That's why she wanted it back. Yes, well, I managed, but only open it today. And I must continue protecting this mansion so that Michelle Master has a place to return to. So she took back the mansion from the master, for Ma Mr. Master's sake. Kate, I'm so sorry. I was powerless. It's not your fault, Michelle Shields. I couldn't do anything either. All I can do now is continue to protect the mansion. I could appear as a good word from all over the world. Hold it! Okay. Pierre yeah, okay. That's Mr. Dover's alias, correct? Pierre OK is Mr. Dover. Dover was in a contest 18 years ago and is the victim of the 18 of the, the, the victim from 18 years ago. And Dover was his real name. Correct? Yes, it's the name he used when he was working with a sculptor in France. About collecting his work. Yes, she collected all his work. She, him, him, her master collected all his work. Oh, lag. How did you compare to the Tars and Gemini sculptures? Yeah. I heard that Mr. Dover passed away before he completed those sculptures. I have the sculptures in the Winter Palace specially made based on photos I took. Oh? Could you tell us about that in more detail? After all, it was my dream to open the Zodiac. Oh, he didn't talk about the detail. Opening the Zodiac argument was your dream? Truth is, I wanted to manage the gallery together with Michel Master. Who's still in jail? He's not dead, he's still in jail. Singing and dancing and all kinds of sweets. That's the kind of gallery I dreamt about. Is you buying a stage in a musical in here? Jeffrey Master disobeyed the goddess of law. That's Courtney in a nutshell. Which, in the laws, he goes, the goddess of law! I say, the goddess of shut up! Law is not. It's unfortunate, but I'm afraid that your dream will never come to pass. No, Mr. Master is innocent! The prosecutor at the time did not believe it, but. In order to protect Catherine Hall, Jeffrey Master gave a false confession. Yeah, he did it to protect her. They were both trying to protect each other. That's how Von Karma got his guilty verdict. 
called it. But the first, do you mean the ones taking Isaac's dog, taking Isaac's dog's room? Yes, you seem quite familiar with the event from 18 years ago on Sean Edgeworth. So the sculptures in the Winter Palace were replicas. They melted and I didn't get to even see them. No, the Sherwood sculptures shouldn't have been replicas. Miss Hall is obviously lying. What? They're not sculptures. Excuse me? We're trying to prove that? Would you take a look at my dance tool? No, no, dancing doesn't have anything to do with, with what we're talking about. But I can't say this is the same thing, but we just said this. That! <laughs> it has to be this. Was Dover never dead then? Everything, so I know it's about this. this oh my god it's the set my photo she took shows that she was using that and that's the cloak. This is the Larry sketch. Objection! That's it. That was the one I had to present. It's the same liquid. Did you really think that your excuse would continue to hold up? Yeah, dumb bucket mo- That was a dumb bucket moment! No matter how much you lie, you can't deny that the composition of the sculptures, from the analysis results, it's quite clear. The sculptures in the Winter Palace are sure with sculptures Mr. Dover created. Oi! Melody! As a pharmacist, it's my turn to shine. What we call, the, what we call sugar actually contains different variations and tastes. Even if the sculptures were replicas, it's nearly impossible to replicate the composition. I see, thank you for the explanation. That's handy. Asking for one. That's handy. So the liquid the liquid is exactly the same. Hey Vector. Say hello. 
Say hello. Hey. If I can just hello to you guys for a moment. I think you can keep an eye on him. You saw me, she couldn't have molded the sherbets she sculpted back then. You stole them and preserved them for 18 years. Makes sense, but why she, go she stole them? What? She preserved the sherbet for 18 whole years? Hmm. If you freeze it properly, it's not impossible. Yeah, thank you, Courtney. Silence, please. Miss Curator, what do you have to say? I can't believe you've already uncovered so much. You're admitting that you stole the sherbet sculptures? No, I cannot admit to such a thing. There isn't any proof that I have stolen them after all. Also, I couldn't have stolen the sculptures 18 years ago. I don't think they would have been easy to steal without the police noticing. Um, is that so? I don't know what you did 18 years ago. As such, how can I judge how difficult it would have been to have been steal them? It looks like you won't give up so easily. I don't intend on giving up until I learn the truth. I understand. Then I should tell you what I did 18 years ago. That was actually perfect. That was good. What I did 18 years ago. One day on the incident, I was waiting in the main wheel until judging. During the judging at Monsieur's Master's Guys, I went to change the film in the camera. But before I could do, I delivered the camera to him and I discovered Monsieur Dover's body. After Monsieur Gregory arrived, I prepared tea for everyone involved in the investigation. It was then that I witnessed Monsieur Gustavia entering Monsieur Dover's room. Here we go. And that was everything I have done until that day. And now it goes back to Irish. I don't suspect anything specific. That's not your decision to make. Mr. Ashford, were there any contradictions in her testimony? For now, I should just prove that she stole the sculptures. But when I could miss well have stolen them? If I can answer that, then her crime should come to light. She stole them before... She stole them before Dover died. What's up, Beck? Peeping? Uh, during the judging at Monsieur Master's request, I went to change the film in the camera. Hold it! Okay, I want to know more about this. So you were the only one who could have moved freely during the judging period. I certainly would have been more free to move about the different than the contestants. However, I couldn't have possibly stolen the sculptures right in front of Monsieur Master. Moreover, upon being asked to change the film, I went directly to the entryway. That she went to change the film in the camera. So I stole the sculptures then. It could have been. So during the judging, she, she could have. This is the moment she did it. Hold it! So I think Mr. Mastro before he delivered the camera. Yes, I heard the sound of something breaking, you see. This is the moment she did it. Either that or during the judging. Monsieur Master? Are you in here? Yeek! That's when the actual sound of the ship breaking. Someone snuck a bite of it, you see. I was still judging Mr. Gustav in his room. But he was. This is the moment she stole it. Yep. Yeah. It was then when you stole the Sherman sculptures. And how would I have done that? That's. Mm, not even a great thing. No, that is what it is. What? This is wrong? Pushing a circle back and forth from the page to the main building. 
Mm, well, I remember your old man singing praises of Rosalie on team. He also said something about how the saucer was chilled. That's it. That was the other moment. Yeah, this is the moment. This was when you stole the Sherpa sculptures. I'm kind of being nice. You two are having fun dueling. I'm sorry, but we show shield tonight and company were, f were found in the found in patio the entire time. Are you saying you're in broad daylight? That's precisely what I'm saying. Cart. Take that! What are you doing, Vec? He just came off for a moment to say to say hi. He's already going back, I think. Neither my father nor Mr. Shield realized the sculpture was right in front of them. What you were pushing around was no ordinary service card. It was the sculpture itself. Eek! Overrule! Overrule! But sure, that would still be impossible. If you place a sculpture on the service card, people would have not noticed would have noticed the Objection! Internet. Objection! I never said she used the service card to move the sculptures. What? What do you mean? Then what did you use to move the sculptures around? <laughs> Lift trolley. Take that. This is Trolley Mr. Dover used eight years ago to move his shoulder sculpture. It seems the same lift trolley lies here in the fountain patio. It's wet. Th that's because it was originally pre prepared for the contest in the first place. Are you saying she used the lift trolley to move the sculptures? Yes. Yes. If the sculpture were really placed on this lift trolley and then covered up with a tablecloth, it could then be disguised as a service card and moved around without arousing suspicion. Well, how could that be? So the songs were chilled because they were sitting on the nice call on the other sculptures. Kate, what's the meaning of this? What were you thinking? She wanted to preserve Dover's work. That was truly impressive. Oh, that's Irish again. Hey, Vector. Fist bump. Oh, he's coming down real fast. I'm so happy to get a fist bump. You sit in the R, Monsieur Gregory's son. After 18 years, it's hard to imagine that any proof that I stole it, the sculpture remained. But I knew it was only a matter of time until I was suspected. Miss Curator, does that mean you admit to stealing the sculptures? Yes, I admit it. Eighteen years ago I stole the, the Sherbet sculptures from Monsieur Dover's room. He's playing with his cube. Have some fun while Vector is distracting you all. Good job, you threw it down. <laughs> and I served tea as I made my way back and forth. There was no, I also took the ice block and the, all the star clusters on it. So she took everything. And the ice block with star clusters. That seems familiar. It's displayed here. Quite heavy. Now the inside must be hollow. Winter Palace is a reproduction of Mr. Dover's room from 18 years ago. Because they had melted, my father never got to, the chance to see them. But those blocks of light were originally from Mr. Dover's Sherbert Salon. And he's gonna play with his cube. The two blocks of I No, I'm not talking to you. Cut, and then I placed an empty glass cases in Mr. Dover's room. The sculptures were already encased in glass to preserve their fine details. But the ice blocks were being displayed as they were. As per rules, we prepared the glass cases for Mr. Dover. So 
so it could have been easy for her to prepare the glass cases. In Mr. Duffer's room there was some sculptures that were still unfinished. I thought if I melted them, it would look like the ones I stole had melted too. That's how she faked it. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that is literally the winter past eight years ago. I think much to get her to confess. Then she must have known. She must have known it isn't enough to try. She must have known it isn't enough to try her in court. That's all I have to say. Even though I admit stealing the sculptures, you can't arrest me for it. What? What, what do you mean? Heavens! You're, assi you're, you're assisting an investigation without knowing this much? Perhaps you should read this book concerning the statue, the statue of limitation. She can't be trialed anymore because it's 18 years ago. The statue of limitations? Cool, new evidence. To put it simply, it's the time frame in which the suspect can be taken to court. You can see it on this page. Pretty much this is also why we can't get masters found innocent. Murder, 15 years, theft, 7 years. If the suspect flees or lives in a foreign country, the time on hold until, is on hold until the suspect dies. If, if public clubs are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached and then resumes. If charges are pressed to demand the compensation, the, st the statue is frozen for the length of the pro procedure. Yeah. The statute of limitations for murder is 15 years, and for theft is seven, it's 7 years. Ah! That's right. When Miss Hall's theft was 18 years ago, she can't be trialed anymore. But according to the statute, she cannot be arrested for stealing the sculptures. So that's how it is. Stealing evidence from a crime scene is an unforgivable offense. Yeah, but your guys of law doesn't allow you to trial her. However, for, the, for this crime, we have no right to pass judgment. Sucks, doesn't it? It appears that Prosecutor Edgeworth's tempted reasoning have been all for naught. Objection! I just wanted to. I wonder about that. I dismiss Hall's actions simply to expose a different crime. If she only took the sculptures, he wouldn't have found the body from 18 years ago. Are you saying that I hid Musha Dova's body? That's correct. But how could someone hide a body for 18 years? I would imagine it would have been very difficult under normal circumstances. to apply here. So you're saying that the circumstances were normal? Are you claiming that you know where the body was hidden? Yes, it was in the freezer! When you consume all the others become obvious. Fuck you, Mubat. Yeah, fuck you too, Mubat. There's also something... Sculptures. This is a photograph of Mr. Dover's sculptures. Yes, and perhaps you've noticed that the victim's blood can be, f be seen in this picture? I do not see it. Please point it out more clearly. Where is the victim once seen the victim's body? This just got really weird. The Gemini sculpture? Yes. Well, it may look like the Gemini sculpture at first glance. In reality, this is none other than Isaac Dover himself. Oh, I that something. I was hoping it was the victim's body. But all I can see from this picture is an odd sculpture statue. Objection! Objection. That's because a certain piece of. The that was the bait! She used the Pisces statue as a bait and when Gustavo saw it, she knew it would trigger him to open it and kill him. The body, he's like, Gustavo would have seen the body, he's like, oh shit, it's Dover's body! What's it doing here? Quickly, I have to get rid of this body before I get seen, he's guilty! And that's when the, the trap was, was done. 
Because it was trying to be that and she used to conceal it. Conceal it. Different resin cloth. This is the cloth that was covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace. The cloth manipulates light with it. It's entirely possible to make something look like ice. Isn't it right, Delicia? Yes, see! Very close, Red! It's a raging, it's like a raging inferno! And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice! Overruled! Overruled! That cloth will only emit light when it's attached to a special oh, device. Sure. Yeah, it's on the, in the picture. Judge Courtney, look closely at the picture one more time. <coughs> Beneath the Gemini case lies a box here attached to a pedestal. This is a rainbow light device. It takes the reported one in the ice palace in the winter palace. This is a device that went missing 18 years ago. Originally, it would have been attached to a cloth inside the glass case. Naturally, Miss Hall took the device with her when she when she moved the sculptures. Yeah, that is cool as fuck though. By removing the rainbow light device to make fluorescent cloth glow. Mr. Dover's body was made to, made to look like an ice sculpture. Ah, oh, this feed. That's ridiculous. So then, when Uncle Ray took a photo of the Winter Palace, that's right, the body had been in front of us all along, disguised as Gemini. Let's take a close look at the photo just one more time. Yeah, you can see it. it it's literally. Oh. However, the body and the fluorescent cloth were both discovered in the fountain. If the sculpture was the, was the body, he would have found it in the Winter Palace. Objection. Objection! If we had found it there, the trick would have been revealed immediately. Miss Hall moved the body out of the Winter Palace to prevent us from discovering it. Overruled! Overruled! No, the Pisces statue was fooled as the Gemini statue! That's what... Did you say she threw the body into the fountain without any of noticing? No, Judge Courtney. There was no need for that. He simply used the same method as before. Remember the lift trolley? Ah! ah! She moved the body to some other room and dumped it into the stream of the fountain. Naturally, the frozen body would have sunk to the bottom of the, of the fountain. That's why the cloak floated up first. And was found by Delicia. Eventually, the body fought out and floated to the surface. Hold it. Ah, oh, no! Don't interrupt this theme! Be sure, Edward, you truly are a gift for deductive reasoning. However, do you have any proof that I have moved the body? Am I doing the wrong accent again? If you cannot prove that, then there's no... Yeah, I know. No, Larry's picture told, tells us everything. I have work tomorrow morning, have fun. Later moon, shame you can't stay for long, but hey, you're getting you're doing overtime. Yes, I believe such a person exists. The answer lies in the evidence that the person gave me. And that piece of evidence will reveal the truth of Miss Hall's action. Prosecutor Edgeworth! Are you able to prove the, the crime of Miss Creator? Certainly! I have evidence that shows exactly what she did. It's time for you to see your answer. Hey, Larry! Your picture's gonna be useful! Uh, another sketch? Oh, it appears I have been drawn in this one. This is a sketch that Larry drew of the fa women at the fountain patio. I would like to direct your attention to the surface truck on the left side of the sketch. Pretty much a thought. That's okay, Moon. I'll upload it immediately after and put it live for you to, for, you know, for first day. Service card. What about it? I mean, I won't be streaming next week because I'll be in Disney. <laughs> Didn't you see what transpired 18 years ago had happened again? This hall was moving the body in the sketch. No! Hold it! Please wait. I don't see Michel Dover's body anywhere in that drawing. All I did was hand out chocolates to everyone. The key detail in the sketch is the color of the tablecloth. Oh no, I thought Larry had just made a mistake. The tablecloth? It's light blue. It might be light blue in the sketch, but no blue, no blue tablecloth exists in this mansion. Perhaps it's light blue is because the body, because the body was hidden and still glowing underneath the tablecloth. What? But 
the lift trolley is rectangular in, in this sketch. If there's a body on the lift trolley, wouldn't we have noticed it immediately? Objection! Objection. <laughs> this one's a good theme. There were two blocks of ice in the window pallet that are completely hollowed out. If you put the body inside the block of ice, it would look like a service block. That's... In this hall, you put the body in the block of ice and used the lift trolley to move it, didn't you? I... I never imagined you would be able to do so much from a single, just a single sketch! But what if it was just a mistake, like you said before? It doesn't prove anything. I agree that the sketch alone is worthless. Once you remove the body, the service car would have reverted back to the lift trolley. That's why the lift trolley was left behind in the fountain patio. And without the service car, there would be no place for you to put your chocolates. The chocolates are gave everyone. Until now, the chocolates had sat on top of the service car as she, as she gave them away. When you gave them to us, you took them from your pockets. Ah, now that you mention it, they were a bit melted. They were really sweet and tasty. That's why it was necessary to put them in your pocket. Was it necessary to put them in your pocket halfway through? That's, be that's because. That's because once the body was disposed of, you no longer had a service card. Ah! Hold it right there. She put the chocolates in her pocket and left the tr lift trolley in the patio. Then, where did the tablecloth go? If she first had put the chocolates in her pocket, she wouldn't have time to dispose of the tablecloth. Mr. Atreff, can you, you prove that to me? She's wearing the tablecloth right now. Wasn't hidden. It's right in front of us. It's the, it's the apron she's wearing. Do clarify. The tablecloth used to hide the body. Where is it now? Where is the... As a whipper. It's honor. Isn't it obvious? This hall is carrying it with, with her out in the open. Out in the open? Ah! You mean. Miss Hall! You are wearing the tablecloth around your waist! <laughs> the block of ice was not encased in the glass case. In other words, the tablecloth would have been in, the, in direct contact with a block of ice. If you even examine it, you would undoubtedly find trace of sherbet on it. Miss Hall, you, you will turn your tablecloth over to the police at once. Yeah, she's, she's not gonna give up yet. There's no need to examine the tablecloth. It is just as you say. I stole the poison from Madame Delicia and I moved the body. Uh, I have done, I've done terrible things. She said, I don't, this is not the end because we still, what we're gonna do in a moment, what I believe what we're gonna do, is still get Gustavia a guilty verdict. I've done terrible things. She's not the evil one here. Mr. Mandelisha, I'm so sorry. One week ago, I took him, she's confetting because she, she wanted revenge. She's not the one who killed Dover originally. She did an attempted murder. In the Toxin X bottle. I slipped it into that man's pocket. To make it look like suicide. And if they suspect it was murder, the evidence would point to Madame Delicia. Yep! Katie! Kate! What were you thinking? Were we all trying to save Mr. Mass together? I could not let myself be arrested. Not until I have proven my show master's innocence. From the very beginning, I had planned to turn myself in once everything was over. But I suppose it's too late to say that now. Okay, why? Why would you go this far? Even for Monsieur Shields, I've caused nothing but trouble. For the past 18 years... Vector? No. No. What did we tell you about the Forbidden Corner? During every stream? Forbidden Corner. Oh, hello. Hey, you're, you're sure you're forbidden corner? No mouse mat duty for you. 
No, don't be angry. Stay in your corner. The I said it. Don't tell me you were no you were to culprit. My greatest crime was stealing the sugar sculptures for my own selfish interest. Yeah, I don't know that they were no longer just an ordinary sculptures. They become the final bricks of Michel Michel. What if what if they melted before Michel Mesa returned? Yeah, this is the reasoning. I don't believe he did it. It was wrong. I moved them to match the freezer. However, I didn't want it to preserve Michel Dofus art. I didn't know his body was hidden amongst them. Yeah, she didn't know. Lag. Take another person's life. But because of me, the body vanished. I sound guilty. So wait, the body was already hidden in the ice sculptures back then? Whoa, Gustavia works fast. The body was hidden in the sculptures the whole time. She didn't know that until she that kind of man. It's even like someone has like he has family. Yeah, this is the reason she did it. Yeah. Wait, when my showmaster was found guilty, I was chased out of this mansion and I was finally able to claim the mansion just a few days ago. But when I saw the sculpture still sleeping away in the freezer, I realized that I was the one who hid Monsieur Dover's body. However, the study of implementation had already expired. Therefore, I could think of no other way to atone my for my sins. She was going to take revenge. It appears I have, mis I have misunderstood her. It seems she caused this entire incident in order to save Mr. Master. What you're thinking about, Mr. Edgeworth? There's one thing that has been bothering me this whole time. Why would Miss Hall plan a murder with such an uncertain method like poison gas? And the, and the reason she disguised the Autumn Palace to look like the Winter Palace was to make those involved in the incident 18 years ago confuse the two rooms. I wonder what Kate was trying to accomplish. She's trying to murder the, the, the person who was guilty. She was trying to prove Mr. Mass's innocence. In that case, Miss Hall's true objective was to find the true culprit. Perhaps she was trying to find the true culprit? Miss Hall, were you trying to prove Mr. Mass's innocence? You want to reveal the true culprit and have the police find the body from 18 years ago. Was that not your true goal? Yep. We're gonna have to question Gustavia next and get him to confess to the murder. By displaying those sculptures, you attract those involved for the president. Only two people would have known where the body was hidden. You and the true culprit. I'm panicked. Ah! Thanks for showing your booty, Vector. Yes. In the worst case scenario, they might have even stolen the body. So how could she protect the evidence while simultaneously luring the culprit in? The poison gas she made up has looked like the Winter Palace. Yes, and then Miss Hall, you must have thought. Whoever opens the Pice case believing it to be the Gemini case. Must be a true culprit of the IS-7 incident. What? But that means that person is the true culprit. Out of the room! Please wait a moment, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you intend to accuse that person of being the culprit behind the IS-7 incident? Yes. Um, Vec, we're gonna pick you up because that's your. F you fell down there once, but remember. I'm gonna put you down, don't worry. There you go. So, one of the person who also fell for the trap be the true culprit? However, I have no evidence to back up my claims. If I make a formal accusation without any proof, it will not end it very well. So I announce the truth to Isaac Dover? Make the accusation! What should I do? What I should do is reveal the truth. In that case, there's no need to hesitate. 
Yes, that's correct, Judge Courtney. I indict this person as a true culprit behind the IS-7 incident. Dan Gustavia. Take that! Dan Gustavia, who fell victim to the poison gas, is the true culprit of the IS-7 incident? Of course he is! Mr. Gustavia. Relax. Cutting back to for a little bit because he's being a rowdy. This hall. Do you believe that if you, if you open the gallery, a true culprit would come? That's why you set up the poison gas trap, is it not? You truly have a gifted mind, just like your father. She didn't want to kill him. It was she knew it wouldn't be enough to kill him. It would be enough to make sure he can't flee. It is actually saying we sure as well. Now, would you please tell us the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. I will tell you everything. So I trapped in the gallery room to find the true culprit. Before the gallery opened. I left only the ultimate palace unlocked. At the open time, when I went around to unlocking the room, I discovered that the autumn palace had been locked from the inside. I knew that the true culprit was on the other side of the door. My hand was to trembling. I was left for the trap. I to do his work. When I heard Michel Gustavio was exposed to the poison gas, I realized he was the culprit. And I thought, if the police discovered Michel Dove's body, and have proven Michel Master's innocence. Why didn't you ever come to talk? Why didn't you ever come talk to me? There might have been another way. I know that you did everything you could for me over the past 18 years. However, all of this has been brought on by my own crime. That's why I wanted to save Michel Master as soon as possible. Kate, silly Kate. Not only the police hit, hit the fact the body went missing it here. Even if I reported the body, there was a chance that the truth would be hidden again. That's why I caused the incident at the museum opening with as many witnesses as possible. She made sure that nobody was going to cheat the system again, like because Rogama did it. I'm sorry. Gregory, Mr. Master, and even you couldn't protect anyone. Mr. Shields, it must be tough on him as well, yeah. She's just another victim. Don't you have to me. Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Shields, I'm terribly sorry. I shall accept whatever punishment I'm giving. However, I must ask of you. Please clear, clear Mr. Master's name. We can't, because he's, he's the... Again, we can get him guilty, for one reason. The statute of limitations have ended on this trial, so Gustav would get away nonetheless. That's the problem. We can get him guilty. This way. We just have to get... Even if Gustav admits to the crime, he's gonna walk off free because he is... Because he is... Because he got away with it. Then again, he was off country the whole time. We'll see how it goes. We know he's gonna get away with it. Our art gallery from Fountain Patio. This how you composed yourself. Yes. What did you, you do? No matter the reasoning, was unforgivable. Yes, I know. But we don't know why Gustavia killed him. Why Gustavia was working to get? We know why he was working to get with him. We don't know the reason that he killed him, and we don't know the reason what and how he did hit the body and such. You can you commit this crime in order to protect Mr. Do the, the true crime is someone else. We have to do to reinvestigate. That's the rule. Statue of limitations. No false evidence from the I-7 remains in the official case files. Moreover, there is no evidence to lend credence to Miss Hall's testimony. We should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. Objection! We cannot be certain at all that the case files are accurate. After all, the prosecutor in case has his history of forging evidence. Overruled! Overruled. Are you suggesting that the PI-7 overlooks such a prosecutor? That's none of my concern. The truth is that the evidence was falsified. 
and the fact that Miss, Mr. Dover's body from eight years was just discovered proves it. Eek! Yeah, the PSI was the oversight. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I can see remembers of prosecutor from Carmel Venue. What did you say? Trying to see and fabricate the truth. Let me inform you of my. Rather, the PCI's logic. Yeah, she's the leader of PCI who's trying to get a, a badge way. Again, she's trying to make sure. Ignore the prosecutor from the Carmel fabricated the information about the body. However, he successfully convicted Mr. as an accomplice. I believe that the true culprit was Mrs. Curator herself. She attempted murder in order to pin the blame on him. Is that really what the PCI believes? Not what you believe. You are in control of PC PIC. What is this? Bullshit. Of course, she has to make it hard on us. This is why I hate her. Okay. I hear that the biggest factor in Mr. Hans' conviction was his confession. If Prosecutor from Karma had a hand in his conviction, the ruling may not be just. The, rule. the initial investigation was handled by Detective Rip, Rip Lancer. He was the one who obtained the confession, according to the official reports. All I can say is that the ruling has already ha what has been handed down. Jeez, what if Miss Courtney have to be so stubborn? Is the PIC so high and mighty? It sure seems like the archivists of prosecutors, to say the least. Mm, so they're kind of like what the police are to the great thieves. Says the great thief who nonchalantly works alongside the police. I believe the true culprit was the security herself. Hold it! Are you saying that both Miss Hall and Miss Mass have murdered Isaac Dover? Yeah! I don't like her! It's like, here's- there's bullshit! I'm gonna just go with the bullshit because the PIC says the bullshit is correct, so we have to go with the bullshit is correct. Yeah, Mama, that's why I don't like her. And another- and the other reason why I don't like her is how she talks. The goddess of law guides me! The goddess of law cannot be wrong! I am doing this for the goddess of law! I'm like, shut up! Shut up! Shut up about the goddess of law! I don't like- I don't like those kind of religious types that keep talking about their god- God and God being absolute, and that, that they're, therefore their actions are absolute. I hate those kind of people. So that's why I don't like her, and I don't like how she how she tries to bullshit her way out of things. The master committed the murder, while Miss Curator moved the body. Well, I doesn't want you to shut your trap exactly, Roy. That's what I believe. What? How can you say that? You will never kill Miss Shadova. Did you not steal the body and preserve it for 18 years? It's only natural to suspect you of being an accomplice. Yeah. She is correct there, but that's the problem. She already confessed to her crimes, and now it's not the time to judge her for her past crimes. In that case, let's judge Miss Hall for her current crime. She did. This is... Hold it! Mm -hmm. If you want to pin the crime on somebody, why choose me? Because Miss Gustavi suspected Miss Hall was a criminal. <coughs> Whether or not the Gemini sculpture was genuine. He was caught in the trap and meant to silence him forever. Can you approve of that theory? Mr. Gustavi is currently teetering at the brink of death. There's probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there's nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must be still something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clear explanation. Um, Dover wasn't killed with gas, he was beaten to death. Objection. Okay, this is wrong. But no, th that is t We already have ample evidence for both the I-7 and... Hold 
up. Objection! Okay, not it either. I know it's not percent evidence here. Not for this statement. Um, and why not? Because it's obvious you're bluffing. No. I wanted it, but I know. Guess press. By I'm private, you mean this evidence is you have a body, the murder weapon, and a pair of suspects. And for the poison gas, it is we have two camera code miss all you and furthermore I have finished collecting all the evidence necessary for your own PCI hearing. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, say something so casually. Miles, you know you're always welcome to join the Edgeworth Law Offices. Mwah. George Courtney, I'd like to ask you to prevent from making such needless remarks. Mm -hmm. I understand. Well, regardless... Hold it. Are we just gonna keep pressing her? Are you saying that there is nothing left for us to investigate? We've already exhausted all ends of regards to the evidence. This court will accept no further deliberations. Vector, please stay out of the forbidden corner. Objection! So pronounce you. Hold it. Please do with evidence. That is, if there's any evidence that requires further deliberation. All loose ends, so I'm just trying to follow the which loose end is the correct one because I don't know what's fun. The game doesn't tell me what's up, but I, apparently I'm supposed to prove. Any suggestions, guys? God, what does the game want me to present? And where? Okay, never mind, Roy. That's the one. We s the liquid analysis apparently was the right thing. I'm from the ice seven incident that remains unsettled. I don't agree with this, but I guess that's good. Good call. Good call, Roy. Take a look at this. This is this is the forensic report from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Why does someone's and who does this book go to? Do we know the answer? The case is this case is still open. Mix with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. 
copying of this from Sebastian because Sebastian is a goof. This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I have planned to tell Mr. Sebastian myself. Humph! So even though you had no investigation of what you still did as you please. I shall report everything that was right into the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. It is not my place to decide such things. I must ask you to check with Sebastian regarding this matter. Hey! Good news! Good news, everyone! Good news, you guys! He's fine. There he is. Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. Mr. Gustavia. So, he's alive. Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. Hmm? You are... Sir Assistant, are you not? You've grown so big this time. This one is... is this one is your assistant then. Yeet! No, I'm... <laughs> He's an assistant candidate. And Gregory is Edward's son. I'm Miles Edworth, a prosecutor. <laughs> what a twist of... <laughs> what a twist of fate. I am in your debt. It is thanks to you I have recovered completely. <laughs> There's no need for thanks. Since you're alive, we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. Hmm? What do you speak of? While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You may be Isaac Dover's. You may be Isaac Dover's. Oh. What? Really? Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why. She set up the poison gas in the, in the Pisces case. He's picking up his cube again. And then throwing it down. Mr. Gustavia, there's events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. Hmm. So, you wish to remain silent? Nah, I think he's just meditating. You can sleep standing up. What a useful skill to have. Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what you did 18 years ago. <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap? That's not a very funny joke. I am a victim, not a culprit. He's doing really. Mr. Gustavia has not yet been made clear whether you're not here. This is only their base of speculation. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of the prosecutor without jurisdiction. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus is our guilty party. Well, at least at least there's one person who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I'm a judge, and I hate your guts. If you'd like, I would be happy to assist you. Who shall visit the truth of 18 years ago? Nerf. Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. Objection! Judge Courtney, is that your answer? We intend to bury through the essence before it was brought to can be brought to light? I merely believe in the judgment of the goddess of law, aka bullshit. Ultimately, those who render judgment are only human. As long as humans control the law, there's no guarantee that every verdict is correct. If you're going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justine, what should I do now? You're being suspected because you set off a poison gas. Can't tell us a reason? Why would you open the Pisces case? Understood. I came to see Sir Dover's work from 18 years ago. He did. However, accidentally I entered the sea a half an hour before it opened. This hall, there's nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, I had no security guards in place, I didn't even lock the doors. I was very busy with opening the preparation so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door aside from the autumn one. I see. This must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the autumn palace. Entering the, the autumn palace. I already just think this place needs to not get to the museum in the first place. Gary should remain silent. 
Unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false, I will not allow any objections. The gallery? This isn't even a courtroom. Now then. Why don't you open the Pisces case? I wish the user Dolphin's handiwork up close. Gemini sculpture? No, it was actually the Pisces, wasn't it? Uh, Mama Lama, also try to use fling minus 44, fling, sling, sling, S L I N G 45 or minus 45 to get more distance to get them star. What was that? So I wrote it, I wrote it, open it. But as soon as you open the lid, the poison gas began pouring out. That's quite a convenient testimony. It sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? Also, my chat isn't scrolling. I'm not joking. My, I can see you chatting on the right, but I don't see you chatting on the in the in the stream. I'm gonna check what's up with that. Oh, no wonder. Oh, he has to go to his charger. He's low charge power. Moment, I can see what the problem is. You can't find this charger by now, so I'm gonna put it on here. Vector. This camera is having issues. I must, I must clean this camera for a moment. Since he's not moving, I'm turning off the lights. Uh, you know what? Keep it on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't use my power. That is with. However, there's no evidence to prove it. That would it not make sense for your suspicion to follow Lady Catherine before myself? That's the completely wrong. She may be intended to release the poison gas. Objection! Objection! That shields. That was that was one of the crew. Hey, turn on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She's specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, I mean, you were here. We were, you were our only target. You you are willing to accept the words of this criminal as truth? Miss Hall must atone for her crime. However, the same can be said up for the criminal from 18 years ago. Sir Prosecutor, it seems you wish to suspect me to the bitter end. However, I had no reasoning to murder Sir Dover. Yeah, I don't know his reasoning still. If there's no evidence to suggest I killed him, you cannot suspect me. Ugh. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you prove Mr. Gustavia is the criminal? All we know for, sh for sure is that Mr. Gustavia fell victim to the poison gas. Hold on a minute. Mm-hmm. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. But that's... Mr. Shields, is there nothing we can do? Well, if there isn't any evidence, we should try and reorganize the facts. If Mr. Gustavia was the one who killed Mr. Dover, there must have been a motive. Motive. Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that such a motive exists. Okay, what is his motive? I don't know his motive. It's not easy to take another person's life. 18 years ago, your old man also discussed the motive with Prosecutor from Karma. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant? If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour... Dover didn't want to help him anymore. Hold up, I'm gonna reset the chat. Man, there's a lot of shit here. I guess I remove some of these. Refresh. There, that should be start chat. Good. I'm not gonna. Could say it serves a motive there. Yeah. 
couldn't talk to Mr. Rocket either, but this time, things are different. If you can learn everything we've learned so far, the truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose. It seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that have remained unexplained. So, the glove finger marks on the picture frame. Was your doing? No, it wasn't. Not leaving finger marks on the frame. If they were left by Mr. Gustavia, he may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. The show master asked me to change the film in the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. Was there enough film? Match up with the amount of film remaining. Did someone use it? Well, he told it himself it might have been j just a mistake, though. There's information my father collected 18 years ago. He said it was not for naught. If there's no evidence, then I shall use logic to reveal the truth. You want to take picture? You want to copy it? If he had photographed the contents of the angel's recipe, he wouldn't have need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavi used Mr. Master's camera to take pictures. Dover caught him taking pictures, and he wanted in on the deal. He said, "Like you want, I want in on that deal." I see. Pictures, eh? Mr. Mess's room. It's really during the afternoon tea, right? Family Mr. Dove did not participate in the afternoon tea. That's when the murder occurred. The murder didn't occur occurred in the in the same room as the angel's recipe. Locked up in his room as we can't speak on. Jeff Masters. This is the dessert all you ate? Actually, no. After the different tea, I also ate Icy's dessert. She was also able to. Doors were unlocked. Again, yeah, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If you assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck into his room, then there's a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. Nah, that's what I thought. I didn't want to do the obvious because this game loved doing that. Not exactly a shining example of perfect line of logic. There's, There's the motive for murder, their partnership turned sour. Mr. Gustavia, yeah? you collaborated with the victim Isaac Dover to create your desserts, didn't you? Oh, it seems you know about my secret. Again, wrong accent. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handled the design while you were in charge of the taste. Is that correct? <laughs> back in the training, my, my, back, back then my training had been insufficient. It seems you worked together through the semi-finals, but not during the finals. Why is that? We both wish to compete in the finals against Sir Master and on our own merit. Objection! You must have also helped Mr. Dover even during the finals. Nuff. What makes you able to declare something like that? Didn't you tell Prosecutor from Karma about it yourself 18 years ago? That you cooperate until the day before the finals? That's Gregory again. Scorpius in Mr. Dover's room were all made of sherbets. Such an amount would have been mostly needed to be left overnight in the freeze, which means Mr. Gustavi prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. Oof. That's right, so you realize Gustavi's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavi in return? Objection. Objection! The views of the dead are no concern to me. That's what he said, but we know it's, that's related. Why did I not help you in return? Nuh. If there's a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down, that would have been a motive for murder. Pop! Nuh. That could be a possibility. We know... However, Sir Dover and I ended our partnership peacefully. A peaceful breakup? That's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think I killed Sir Dover in Sir Master's room. 
I couldn't have killed Sir Dover while, he, while Mr. Mass was also there, making his desserts. How the fuck did he say he was in that room? In other words, I have no way to give to commit the murder. That's not true. If there was a moment when Mr. Mr. Master confiscated delicious thing, put it in his own room, said like, you can't use that, I'm sorry. So he was, he was already disqualified before that. But that means he went out of order. Could prove that I was impossible for Mr. Gustavi to commit the murder. <laughs> was doing the afternoon tea. I was all was alive until the day that instant ergo, that's the only time when Gustavi could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? Heh. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm far from satisfied. Because I'm finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you've found some evidence to charge the truth? No. There's no need to present any evidence. So if we could just have Mr. Gustavi tell us the truth. Ah, so this is where you use that, right? Indeed. Logic chess time. There's one thing I want you to tell me. Hmm? I said, Mr. Gustavia, there's one thing I want to tell you. To tell you. No! Well, what is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I want to complete the... I want to compete for the title of World's Greatest Pasty Chef on my own merits. Objection! If that's truly the case, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it's necessary for you to cooperate with Mr. Isaac Dover. Oh! Here's the logic chest, I think. Logic chest time, baby! Three eighteen years ago, Mr. Gustavi collaborated with Mr. Dover. I wonder, what made them decide to cooperate in the first place? That's what I need to drag out of him, but... Ooh! A pawn, a rook, a bishop, and a king. Mr. Man said things aren't going his way. First, I'll ask him why he collaborated with Mr. Dover. The truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Logic, begin. Logic chess. Why did you collaborate? Why did you decide to collaborate with my Isaac Dover? So Dover and I were already acquainted even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. Heh. Turning forces with a sculptor. You weren't confident in your own abilities? <laughs> you know nothing about me. You want to make the greatest work together. When you see, he's he's upset. He can't do that when he's upset. To know for son and my own attend the same elementary school. We got along well from the start. Really? So you're going to share the title of World Grace Station together? Nymph! <laughs> condition may be worsened. I should get back to the infirmary. Okay, so attack him when he's uh, meditating. That's what he meant. I found meditating. So it was that. So when he's meditating, I have to wake him up. Wake up! As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. That's what he meant. So when he's meditating, I need to attack him instead of defending. I thought when, he when things are going his way, you, ne you need to be careful. I'm like, need to defend. But here, Mr. Dover was a sculptor. I thought he had any interest in the title of world's greatest pastry chef. In that case, where did where does true goal lie? <laughs> Indeed, my goals were... He wanted the title, but Dover didn't. However, Sir Dover's goal was the grand prize, the angel's recipe. I see, you carpet because your interests were aligned. But then you must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poisoning. If you're going to suspect me in this manner... Perhaps I'd better return to the infirmary. Wait a moment. In that case, you should end it soon. I'm not a patient man. I think he's trying to leave. How did that happen? He's still hiding something. Maybe I should ask him about his true goal. We get more time. Go away from off. Put the little moth in here. How did it get in here? I don't know. Did you want to, did you want to appear on Master's TV show? Nymph. 
I believe it was called Chicken Bake, was it not? I'm pretty sure it's called Piece of Cake. Do you really want me to see dance about while I make desserts? No. This probably wouldn't be too popular with the kids, either. Nymph. Exactly. I know my limitations. I have no interest in that kind of theatrical tomfoolery. Sir Prosecutor, you should think about who you're talking to before asking questions. Yeah, I understand. I should refrain from making the necessary statements. Oh! We're doing this now! That some saves are just stupid! Signed in the front of How dare you like to insult me of from his age? I, my only goal is the title itself. I have no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef. Eighteen years ago I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different different now. Oh, are you saying you've improved at your craft? Exactly. I have trained at the Republic of Sengfa! Yes, yes. At the time, I was only studying, I was studying Mr. Massacre. After watching a show, show with my son. So, you were studying Mr. Massacre's work well to improve your own skills. Yeah, this recipe is perhaps it could have been easier for you to become the world's greatest. Nymph! Perhaps. To a pastry chef, Mr. Master's recipes are worth their weight in gold. Gotcha. You were interested in recipe. He wanted the angel's recipe because he wanted to cook as well, but he didn't know it was for... It wasn't for cooking, it was for cooking drugs. It's a... The angel's recipe is not a cookbook. It's not a recipe for, for make the best pastries. It is meant for chemistry. In there are the best... Are, are a few medicines that are for the best... For the best... Uh, for chemists in the world. <coughs> you have also been interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. Bam. Nyuch. The recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef. I would have been lying if I said I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simply being interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. The angel recipe is, is true was not made for dessert, but cures. It's supposed to cure diseases. In all of the contests, I particular should have been aware of that. Nyuch. Looks like I'm getting close. He's medita isn't meditating anymore. Now, slowly but surely, drive him into a corner. Okay, next, I'll ask what he planned to use the recipe book for. Uh, did you know the, 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 the recipe? Did you know its true value? Silly question! It contains the best dessert recipes. Any pastries have worth their salt would want it. It seems I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Try another line of attack. Okay. If you intend to win the angel's recipe, use it to make desserts. Of course. I obtained the angel's. If I think I was going to use it for my, in my training, I had the angel's recipe was worth a lot of money. Nymph. I don't know the exact details, but the recipe book was was too valuable to be sold. Quite a lot about the angel's recipe. No, it was explained to all the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. <laughs> In that case, you must know about the recipe for the true nature. That was that it was not. Yeah, no, he didn't. Know, he didn't know that. He should have known that because it was revealed. Impressive, sir, as a cuter. Shall you know the true nature of the angel's recipe? The Angel's Recipe. Some call it the ultimate recipe book. It contains formulas for new medicine that were not yet in the market. In, uh, actually, formulas from medicine. This could be useful. He was trying to find a cure for his son? Is that the reason? That's the only logical explanation why he would still go after the Angel's Recipe. He didn't want to win because he had to win. He wanted to have... He wanted to find a cure for a disease his son may have had, and Dover went along with it. Or so maybe a cure for Dover's son. That got dark fast. This was just me theorizing. Uh, looks like I have to use clue would come in handy. You know what they are. I may have studied design in Saint Paul. 
However, your skills in lying could have used more work. You said earlier that the angels are being contained from us from medicine. Yes. We flew. You were you were interested in dessert. You want you want dessert. You want the medicine formulas. Did you need a new medicine? I'm gonna go with the logic that he wanted new medicine. He needed a cure for his son's disease. Why would a patient such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Play what you were really after was the information about the new medicine? Njorg! <laughs> I've underestimated you, Sir Prosecutor. Yes. My goal was more than just the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. I needed a recipe for the medicine. There it is! I just deduct deduced that he had to have a son that he wanted the recipe f that he wanted the cure for. It just it now makes sense. Everything makes sense now. Tell me more about it. That's why I tried to shoot to protect my son's honor. I can say no more. His son is dead. But from his worried look in his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next, I need to tell him more about his son's illness. Oh God, this is going dark again, just like the last time. The first guy, the, the bad guy, the first one, that was an asshole. The second case, that was tragic. This is gonna be even more tragic. Uh, what was your son like? What kind of person was your son? Oh, my boy, he loved dessert, desserts I made. Did you enter the contest solely for your son? Sir Prosecutor, you could never understand the feeling of a father for his son. I want nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. Wait, you see? Until uh, the semi-finals, my son has always dropped by into the play. Is that so? I would not get in the I doubt you had time to carry some while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so, but I wanted to, to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. Oh. This was the right line of questioning. Okay. Was, he changed his uh, stance. That sounds pretty healthy to me. How about your son? If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with you? Bob. <laughs> My son's illness. It wasn't the life threatening. It was Dover, son. That might serve as a clue. What was the name of the... What was the name of your son's illness? The Sir Prosecutor. How insensitive of you. My son was seriously ill. I will not be discussing this illness with the likes of you. Looks like that clue. That yeah, I thought so. But it wasn't life-threatening. You told me your son's illness was not life-threatening. Is there something I really need to be so secretive about? Oh... I was, it was enough to keep him from living a normal life. That must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair for the poor boy. He could never taste the desserts he loved so much. Yeah, that cure. Masters has to cure for that. Was it a taste disorder? The angel recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. I re the remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. What? He had it too? He had it too. I see. So your son suffered from a taste disorder. No, oh, I didn't think he'd figure it out so quickly. So it was a taste disorder he had. Look at son, you needed to the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? That it wasn't life threatening. It is as you said. Based on how he's acting up to now, it appears he is still hiding something. Not enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Ah. Did the angel rest appear on the cure? Yes. Though the medicine is so big, it's being everywhere. At the time, the recipe book was my only was my, my only option. That's why I continued making my desserts without joining the other the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in missing what Miss Mass was making? You sure seemed confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. You had an interest in Mr. Master's work. I think I said earlier that you studied Mr. Master's work. 
Dishy, if you could put some in the closet in order to get the medicine formula. You must have seen curious about the other contestants' entries as well. There was no time to sample all the other desserts during the contest, but none of their entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. He has it too! He has the illness too! Yeah! He has... He has the illness! A pastry chef that cannot taste is not a good pastry chef! That's why he was so nervous, he couldn't taste it, so he needed the cure anyway. Was, it a taste? <laughs> was he too fat? I'm not gonna do that. You also have the energy. Being unable to taste anything, regardless of what you eat. Such a bitter illness. That reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel, feel like eating any of it, wasn't it? Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. Yep, he has it. Suddenly this became more interesting. It's hard to imagine being a successful patient without a sense of taste. Perhaps you wanted was to, to curious about that's completely ludicrous. 18 years ago, I made those desserts all by myself. No, you didn't. But didn't you collaborate with Mr. Dover? <laughs> Seems you've caught yourself in, in a contradiction. Didn't you collaborate with Mr. Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you've made the desserts all by yourself. No! You must take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef, but to betray your pride in cooperation with another contestant? You did it all to cure your own disease. Well done, Sir Prosecutor. It is as you say, the one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. It doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. If you, lie, if you lie before me, I will expose it. Then Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for the new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition and Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. Yet yeah, Dover is the greedy one! For this reason, they entered the contest as, collabor as a collaborative effort. And with that... Checkmate. Oh yeah, the time bar is your health bar, by the way. Logic chess complete. No. I have never told this to anyone. Well done. I should say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Taste disorder? I know he's supposed to be Samurai, but he's Russian to me. Because his younger version also looks Russian. The taste disorder? It, was se it was a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's one illness a pastry chef dreads above all. Those symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste disorder, yet Mr. Master couldn't taste salt. He can taste anything. Mr. Master's condition is known as hy hypoglycia. It simply causes a decreased sensing to a certain specific flavors. I'm sure it caused Mr. Master much pain too. After all, no medication was available to cure it 18 years ago. In order to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's angel's recipe. And that's why you entered the contest, am I correct? That was one of my goals, but I still have my set side on the world's, t t world's greatest. He w he's still honorable. When it comes to making desserts, I won't lose to anyone. Even without the ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh? So I presume you also prepared your dessert in the finals with the intent to win? Oof, that goes without saying. I was just told us earlier. And this goes it was. Up until the semi-finals, Mr. Gustavia's flavors and design were to my liking. 
Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his final entries left much to be desired. Yeah. It seems the dessert you made in France was not rather highly in regards to flavor. Noof. Mr. Gustave, you will tell us about how you made your in the finals. Very well. It seems I must uh, must teach you a lesson. Must teach you upstart the lesson. Okay. Here we go. We got him. So Dove and I crept into the finals. I had the flavor and he was in charge of design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge their masters with, with my own skills. I helped Dove to make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. The flavor of my entry wasn't good enough. My own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? This is the truth of it, you <laughs> No, that is, the, that is literally a flawless testimony. Everything makes sense. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up to that easily. This guy's been on the run for 18 years after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Yes, I'll just press everything. Finals. Hold it! Hold it. So Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. Sculpture by trade. Sense of design was splendid. He was an amateur chef. We combined our strength by working together. <laughs> you didn't have... You did... You never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Misafia? Nerf! Okay. Here he goes. He can't, he's not a bad designer. What do you think of this? That's... Hmm. That sim, that's the symbol of Seng Fa. That is the symbol of Seng Fa. Wow. Phoenix. That's really good. Wow, you really have improved these past 18 years. <laughs> Behold, the fruits of 18 years of training. I put my life and limb on the line for my, my dessert skills. It is true that I cooperated with Sir Dole for 18 years ago, up until the finals. He tried to make a dragon, but it was a... It was a... It was a... What's it called again? What was Horsey again? It was one of those, so... And, like... A seahorse. It was a seahorse. I want to oh, challenge with my own skills. So you were really serious about the title for World's Greatest Pastry Chef. Yes. Yeah. He tried to make a dragon, and it was a seahorse. Everyone said that's a cute seahorse. Like I actually tried to make a dragon over here. You're still not bad back then, but this was way better. Let me see if my life naturally. I wanted to be the world's greatest, but back then I was still inexperienced, and I was no match for the better chef. But your goal was also to obtain the angel recipe, right? One recipe book be worth more than you, than, you, than the title. Noof! Alpha rule! Yeah, sometimes I'm that. I wanna stand by and watch you badger if Oh. My gap shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. Yeah. I realize he's still be your co-brain, but... Mr. Gustavia, do not yield this, this devilish bark here. Fuck off! Helps the dope make his entry. I hate Courtney for that. Kind of like, we had it! Dirty overrule! Hey, you're in your power self. No matter how you look at it, it seems odd. I need Miss Dover to assist you. It's not a matter how it seems, it's the truth. I do not know what, to, what Sir Dover was thinking. I thought the proof is someone is lying about something that happened 19 years ago. Okay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? If it did, I would have already stolen Mr. Edge's spotlight. There's no need for that. I will expose this man's life myself. Please continue with your testimony. Is the flavor... Hold it! Up until the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? Nymph. Nothing of the sorts. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. Then, what's your intuition fine while making the Dorf's entry? How could it be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? No. That's right! Hmm. I'm getting anywhere at this rate. Should we cha should I change the topic? Ask him about the semi-finals. So you sure there wasn't anything different between the semi-finals and the finals? Yes. 
That's right. We know there was a difference. Can't see anything to prove it. Gonna press. So you're still able to make your dessert without Mr. Dolphin's assistance? I may have lacked the design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from design, there was no major difference between my finals and semi final entries. Huh? That sure is strange. Is that how Uncle May made it? I'm pretty sure Bo both the look and taste of your finals scored poorly. Then there's no way he would have won the contest. Even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to the materials during the finals. Something must have changed besides Dover's cooperation. But what? The other statement to it. Ask about Mr. Dover. Mr. Dover, before you entered the contest, right? Yes. I knew him well. Okay, this is the this is how you looked before, and this is all design. I figured out why he murdered him. The son went mi his son went missing after the contest. I'm gonna go. This is gonna be very dark. Remember what I said? Remember that Mr. Dover's body was inside the sculpture. What if there was another body inside the in the earlier sculpture? Yeah. What if the early Pisces stat the, the early the early statue was not He killed his son It was the Gemini statue He made the, remember the Gemini statue was untouched before that and Dover wasn't wasn't there yet Dover's body was covered inside the chest first But there was already a Gemini statue after that Dover's body went into the Gemini statue that means there must have already been space there to put in a body. That's what I think. That's the only reason. That's the only way of logic I'm gonna go. So the picture just said it that he didn't come to the finals. That's about the semifinals. There was no difference, he said, but there was a difference. His son wasn't there. Objection. There it is. Oh, God, this took a very dark turn, if that's true. There was another difference between the semifinals and finals. This photo depicts your son. We know he came to visit you up to the finals. Oops, that's correct. What does it have to do with anything? 
Your son, who always came to see your food at the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then, it was only in the finals your, f your flavor judged poorly. His son was the taste tester the whole time! No, really. His son was the taste tester the whole time, and he got rid of it, and Dover got rid of it. Dover got rid of his son to win the game. Because that's how desperate he was. Holy shit. Your son's vision must have been very important to you. Were they not? A father can work miracles when his son is watching. No, he's the taste tester. With my son cheering on. I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Gustav, you sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? If he's simply saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But if he just hearing his son cheers wouldn't be enough to change the taste of his desserts. A confectionery confident in his taste developed a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his dessert. The son came to cheer you on. Was that really all he did? Yeah, but he, 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 he always wanted to taste the dessert first. Prosecutor, in that case, I'll turn this around and ask you. What else could my elementary son have done besides cheer me on? He tasted your desserts. I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course, my son always loved desserts. In that case, he would have been able to ta taste test your desserts in your place. <laughs> what did you say? Earlier, you told us you have a taste disorder. It wasn't the sun, it was him. The sun can taste fine. I never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Dover, Ms. Dover had found out, he would, have ended, he would have ended your partnership. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. He took his son away and then killed him. That's the only way that could have gone, and that's why he killed Dover, because Dover killed his son. Because Dover was that greedy, no really. Dover was a good sculptor, but if you look at all sculptors, that guy had serious mental issues. Here's Chiyon, he also helped you determine if you say taste it correctly. No. Oh. Ah, uh, I see. Mr. Dover dessert was made the day before, so it tasted good. <laughs> What are you saying is quite amusing, Sir Prosecutor. You say that my element is to me as a taste tester? You are insulting my pride. Your pride? It's true. I have no sense of design. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I wouldn't cast aside my pride and rely on my son. Don't you think you can't get it away with your foolish gesture? You upstart? In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm my theory is just conjecture. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. See? He's dead. But what? After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Zenfa immediately. During that time, I severed all my ties with my son. That See, that's a crew. Don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son? Ooh. That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his sons are still unknown. His son is dead. The police have been searching, but they haven't been able to find any traces of him. See? He disappeared! He's dead! He's been killed by, by Dover! You wish to confirm your theory? I welcome you to try. Nyahaha! <laughs> Desserts are the only thing that are important to me. No. So, his son, he's dead. He is dead. It's sad, but he's been killed. And Dover's son is still miss is is uh, as, is is gone. After my remains, says my son no longer matters. That's cruel. Order, order in the court. The circumstances are certainly inhumane. However, we are not here to judge whether or not he's a good father. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I believe this is your loss. After all, there's no if there's nothing left to go that could prove your theory. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? At this rate, we'll never find out the truth. Mm. Look at Gumshoe. Where are those results? I wonder whose blood I could it could have been. 
Right, I'll leave it to you, detective. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If it's not Dover's blood, it's his son's blood. Which took us to do a geniusy dark turn. Miles, there's still one thing that bothers and was bothering Gray. Mr. Gustavus' only reason for coming to the art gallery to check on was to check on the body. If he only wanted to confirm that the body's presence, he wouldn't have needed to open the case. That's right. There's a way we can prove this. There's only one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, Security Edgeworth, what are the what are you talking about? Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting, sir! Heh. <laughs> just the person I was talking about. Detective Gumshoe, I trust you have the test results? Of course, sir! I just got the report back from the lab. Detective, please be silent. So this is the evidence that Prosecutor Edward was talking about. Huh? Hey, what's this? This is the first I've heard of it. Um, This was requested from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone helping you, always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene. This is the best day. I apologize for taking the matters into my own hands, but how, how about we hear his report first? Uh, sure. Big of gumshoe. What were you, what were those results? Need a report, sir. The trace of blood found in the Gemini sculpture belonged to the victim, the victim of the poison gun, Dane Gustavia. What? He cut himself open? Wait, that's his blood? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. As I thought, my theory was correct. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? He smashed the glass. Me too, I would like an explanation. What on earth does this blue blood does this blood prove? He that he didn't. This blood is something the culprit of the ice had tried to conceal. It can't be, that's found inside of the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. In other words, your blood was found was, was found along Mr. Dover's body. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Why would Mr. Gustavia be in a place like that to begin with? He He had a struggle with Dover. You tend to be saying I'll then I'll reveal the truth myself. In the blood case, aside from the blood, we also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and and only Mr. Dover's sherbet eyes tasted salty. Have to think of it. I remember this you saying the same thing 15 years ago. Oh uh, yeah, yes, see. So the sherbet was most delicious. Really? I wish I could have eaten some too. But there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't even eat it. Salty? It's right here in the photo. It was part of the liar. The liar was salty. Exactly. For some reason, the salt has been mixed into the liar. No traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain. Where did the salt detect the time come from? The rock salt lamp. Take that! This is the rock salt lamp used as the murder weapon in the I-7 incident. I believe part of the rock salt lamp was mixed in, in with this. How? At the time of the murder, there were two rock salt lamps in Mr. Master's room. One of those lamps took Mr. Dover's life. Okay, guess he did, Dover didn't kill his son. Though, if he did, it, it can still happen that Dover killed his son. Otherwise, he is. Otherwise, Gustavi is literally an insane person, and I'm fine with convicting him. But it's see However, there were no traces of anyone's blood found on the crime scene. Because the killer disposed of all the serves with the trace of blood in the streams of water, right? No other traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. Nish. Speaking of which, weren't the two boxes that I found in Miss Delicious' room also broken? It looks like both lamps and the pillars are broken. The light bulbs are broken. They've been dropped on the floor. 
we never figured out why the other light lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavus boat was on the other lamp. Ooh. He had a... So there was a struggle. If your blood was found on the lamps of the crime scene, you would have been suspected. As a culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me you concealed it in the sherbet liar. Exactly. The robot sound is no longer mixed in the sherbet liar and are hidden inside the glass case. I've not been able to have the last resume. Because you had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. But then, the reason Mr. Misaki came into this, to this gallery. 18 years ago, the body and evidence pointing toward the killer were both stolen. Even the killer could not have anticipated that. There's no way knowing when the body and the evidence would have been discovered. So he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Art Gallery grand opening. Mm, okay, never mind. Thank Gustavia. Isn't it about time you confessed? You are the true culprit of the I-7 incident? Mm -hmm. Monsieur Gustavia, who the reason Mr. Master is? <laughs> nope, he's not down yet. Mr. Gustavia. Could it be? After all this time, my, fi my crime is finally brought. Oh, we shouldn't be committing it. Prosecutors and defense attorneys 18 years ago could never, never even come close. Bravo, bravo. Well done, sir prosecutor. Wow, he's admitting it. Did you think he killed Mr. Dover? <laughs> it is true, I killed Isaac Dover. But he had only himself to blame. What do you mean? Dover and I worked together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed we shared the angel's recipe. But on the day of the finals, he stabbed me in the back. So Dover, this isn't what we agreed to. I'm sorry, Gustavia. Gustavia. The deals are... What? But I made it to search for you. I'm the reason you get this far. And what of it? Can you prove that you assisted me in any way? Dover, you! You were planning to betray me all along. Because I've missed Dover, I'm sorry, I was forced to make my final entry on my own. It's just a story for you said. My son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectioner? Crouchup loses the ability to taste his own creation. That's a feeling an upstart like you would never understand. So what happened to the son? It's like being, this is the only, my only pride. Committing murder for the sake of pride. That's another feeling I will never understand. He didn't kill Dove for pride. I don't believe that. To say nothing about Ben. To say nothing about it. Such a fun disgust me. Before you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. On the day of the finals, my son never came to assist me. Thinking back on it now, I suppose Dover had a hand in that as well. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know, but I no long, it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant nothing to me. What I hear, he's still missing. Yep! There it is! His son went missing the day of the finals! He didn't give up on him! Without your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? Yes, and since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a fail safe. During the afternoon tea, I made my way to Sir Master's room. He just went, took pictures of the angel recipe. I need to take a photo of the cure to, to, to uh, would have Only Dover had interfered. Ah, oh, Gustavia. Trying to steal a picture of my prize, are you? That hardly seems sporting. You, you! Cured this for taste disorder. Oh, you have a taste disorder, don't you? Ah, that is rich. A pastry chef who can't. Uh, Dover, you! Ah! Puny worm. You are in no position to oppose me. Holy shit! Dover was the, did the first strike! And that's when he killed his son. And then he struck me and sent me flying. I crashed into Honduras and that was when my blood... Yeah? To consume my blood, I shaved away part of the rock lamp and mixed it into the sherbet. After that, it became part of the liar sculpture. And that's how you try to erase your just from the crime scene. Yeah, so... Do Dover tried to blackmail me by using his knowledge of my taste disorder. If I didn't want to, if I wanted to be public, I was to pay him a large sum of money. 
So that's the reason why you killed Ivy Dover? No, haha, <laughs> exactly. What reason do I have left? If the dust will suck me to my life. No, that wasn't his motive. His motive was his fact that Dover killed his son. That was the final straw. The sculpture, Sherbert. He's spot on, attorney. Shave away the rock salt. Not the salty mixture. But why? Why did you try to pin the crime on Monsieur Master? You're wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. If not for your unnecessary meddling, Sir Master would have never been a suspect. He never wanted to bl He wanted to never pin on the master. Why did you think I hid the murder weapon and fluorescent cloth in Lady Delicia's room? He wanted to pin on Delicia! There's only one reason why you place a murder weapon in someone else's room. He wanted to pin the, the crime on Delicia. He wanted to kill- he wanted to get her Delicia. He respected masters too much. Yep. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Christy, why? Why me? As one who sought to be the world's greatest confectionery, I greatly respected Sir Master. It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him, but an insolent woman dared to sully the con the con this, this with fake dessert. I know probably letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. Yeah, and it would make sense because if she's cheating, why not get rid of the competition? And that's that makes me sad. If you had snacked on if you had snacked on the other cheese, the body would have never been found. It wasn't me, Sir, Sir Master would have been judging the delicious room. But finally, I saw an opportunity to freeze the body. But before I could move the body, Lady Catherine already discovered it. Why? Why did you need to freeze Monsieur Dover's body? Why indeed, Monsieur Edgeworth? Please tell us. Why would Monsieur Gustavia need to freeze? Mm. To create a fake crime. To create a fake crime scene. It was probably to create a fake crime scene. Uh, fake crime scene? Just Courtney's icy glare is so cold I can feel him about the feet. Hmm, it seems I was mistaken. Monsieur Edgeworth? This guy has an eye sculpture? Mr. Savio froze the body in order to disguise it as an eye sculpture. Oh. R really? Nope. Mr. Edgeworth, this how looks like she's frozen son. Hmm. I'm so sorry, it seems I was mistaken. So it was the fraud of the... Yeah, okay, so it was the fraud of the time of death. We should go intended to freeze the body in order to throw the, the time of death. In order to freeze the, the tea party, Mr. Gustavi would have been suspected. Anyway. No, <laughs> that is correct. I pray it should be necessary to freeze the body. While I was praying, I, was, I placed the body in the treasure chest in certain master's room. I had no better hiding spot at the time. But thanks to that gluttonous pharmacist, the lid just broke. But why did you disguise him as an eye sculpture? Once the body was discovered, there would have been no time to throw off the time of death. But by time, he needed to hide the body someplace else. How horrid. How could you hide Monsieur Dover's body within one of his own works? I would have worked out if, if the body had been discovered while it was in Sir Master's room. If everyone was going to guard the plan, Sir Master would have never been arrested. So, because I because I discovered the body, it's my fault. No, it wasn't your fault. Mr. Master, Kate, don't take his words too hard. Even if suspicion had, had fallen Mr. Mr. Delicious would have been taken. No matter who he targeted, the one at fault here is Mr. Gustavia himself. So he didn't kill Dover, son. Oh, come on. It would have made so much sense if Dover did something to the sun that sets him over the edge. Tenshaw's initial was also a dunce. I think he never reported the missing body to the prosecutor. The prosecutor from Karma indicted Master without knowing the body had vanished. I see. That would explain why he looked so flushed at the, at the crime scene. Although, it's something that would have stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally distorted the information? At any rate, Von Karma found out about the missing body after he 
but it is an indictment. If you let one person be acquitted, you would have stayed on. Yeah. So Karma wanted to pin a mask no matter what. He didn't care if the body was missing because that would have uh, put too much on his pride. That's why you can see the fact that the body was hidden and Mr. and Miss Massey declared the other. What are you saying? For 18 years, that man has taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? Nyaha! <laughs> I don't care what you say. What a monster. I'm arresting him right now, right now, sir. You can't. Statue of limitation. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that will be impossible. <laughs> so you figured it out. That's correct. You have no that's why he's 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 not that's why he confessed, because he knew he could get away with it now. You have no right to sentence me. But what? But the culprit is standing right in front of us. <laughs> Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't arrest me. Stature. Statue of limitation. Maybe since I murdered it over. Wait a minute. The body was frozen! The time of death changed! In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me. I only confess my crime. <sighs> Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? No way. What is a serious apology, Prosecutor Edgeworth? You must go through testimony, nor lo your logic can be taken as an official legal proof. The verdict of the trial 18 years ago cannot be overturned. What? What about the fact that Dover's body was hidden? Even if we can arrest it, this should at least earn um, a retrial. Really? I wonder about that. Overturning a verdict of the Goddess of Law is much harder than you think. Is it trying to justify the verdict from 18 years ago? The PCI is trying to cover their own asses of their mistakes, and, if, and that's why they want to get rid of Edgeworth, because Edgeworth is covering all the mistakes. <laughs> is there nothing I can do? No matter how many years have passed, the synth will never fade. So, Prosecutor, I'm sure you have realized by now that there's no way you can arrest me. Arresting you would have been a piece of cake for someone like Mr. Edward. Then right, sir. Uh, I don't think it will be that simple. I'm gonna press everything and see if I can find a new opening. Oh, it is. It is possible that someone... He was out of the country as well! Frozen body! Okay, let me check. Creature lives in the ground. The limit is to. to it. If an accomplice are on tri trial, the counter is stopped until the verdict is reached, then resumes. So I need to get him. Ask me anything you like. Very well. Allow me to fully cure my taste disorder. I immediately headed to Sing Fa to trade. Yep, he was out of country. <laughs> Indeed, I was certain that it was not worth it. Before the final trial begins! Objection. Got him! Found the position. <laughs> he goes about begging if you eggs, sacrifice were needed. That's horrible. Say what you will. The fact still remains that you cannot arrest me. He's trading in Saint-Fa. Do you please add the details of your trading in Saint-Fa to your testimony? Certainly. <laughs> One of the conditions regarding the statute of limitation for murder is as follows. 
If the suspect flees for, to a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. So the statute of limitation was suspended while you were overseas. <laughs> he knows that guy well. That's right. The statute of limitation stopped while you were training in Zeng Fa. Indeed, it is possible that the statute of limitations has not expired yet. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us how long you stayed in Zeng Fa. It would be exactly three years? Three years? Wait. Let's calmly think this over. The case occurred 18 years ago. The statute of limitation is 18 years ago. 50 years. Oh, he was rated free. The statute of free is exactly 18 years. I'm sure of it. Edgeworth, we did it! The statute of limitation hasn't expired yet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> exactly 18 years ago, you say. How amusing. So he realized. Why are you laughing? The statute of limitations still applies. Okay, it's frustrating, but. The case occurred in December. It's April now, which means. Strictly speaking, the case occurred 18 years ago and f 18 years ago and 4 months. You'd say a bird wasn't quite enough. You were just a few months short. Not enough. That. He still is gonna get away with it. Like I said, it's impossible to arrest me. Nah! He must have known all about this when he confessed all to all his crime. Prosecutor Edgeworth, it really is a shame. If it was one year earlier, the statute of limitations would have not been run out. Those who undermine the goddess of law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. It seems you were simply incapable. No! This can't be the end. So, Monsieur Gustavia really is beyond the law's reach. Kate, what are you thinking? Objection! Objection! If you're thinking of taking matters into your own hands, I implore you to reconsider. There's still, there might be a way to bring this man to justice. What? Miles, remember the facts of the case 18 years ago. Does she? Things got all sorts overlooked one key detail. The body was frozen. He wasn't present during his final trial, so he doesn't know the outcome of the trial. He's an accomplice. The statute of limitations still applies. Fifteen years ago, he declared guilty for a serious crime. Thanks to the verdict, we aren't out of animation yet. Because he wasn't, he wasn't the one who killed him, he was an accomplice. Those who undermine the goddess of law's verdict must bear the burden of the crime. <laughs> Why? It's a lie when he says it. Oh, Mr. Master's attorney. I can't su to use his suffering as a weapon in good conscience. No reason. I'll leave the rest up to you. The trial my father and Volcano battled over. Can you... Can I use that? To what should I do? Raise an objection! Raise an objection! My father and Vogue Karma, their path divert. One revealed the truth, the other concealed it. The path I choose is the path that reveals the truth. I see no further reasoning to prolong this trial. I here find Dane Gustavia not guilty. Objection! Overruled. Gustavia will stand in court for his crimes. Do you mean to say you have found a way to arrest Mr. Gustavia? Exactly. I'll show just according to the evidence that will shatter the statute of limitations. Take that! The files. Let's take the case file. Which page are you referring to? Uh, which case am I referring to? Suspect data. Suspect data! Suspect data. The suspect data page. At the trial, Jeffrey Masters was found guilty of being an accomplice to murder! And it took one year to arrive to at this verdict. Right. That is indeed true. The book lists 
conditions in which statues of limitation can be put on hold. First, as we said earlier, it is if the project flees to a foreign country. But there's also one more. If the if a public cards are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached. But what are you saying? Sir Master was found guilty to be an accomplice? That's right. Sir Master was sentenced after you've left the free trip of saying fa. He was found guilty not of not of being a but of being an accomplice. But it seems you didn't know that. <laughs> but that's absurd. Sir Master never committed any crime to begin with. You should certainly know this. Of course we do. That's why we're going to free him. To that end, we will shatter the one remaining obstacle in our way. The Statue of Limitations! <laughs> you fled the Sekvar for three years. And Jeffrey Master was being taught he doesn't accomplish for one year. Put it all together, we see that to the total time limit in this case is 19 years. In other words, the Statue of Limitations is not over for you yet. Ah! The cause of law is unerring in her judgments. However, it seems that the prosecutor at the time was not. I cannot believe it, but it seems like the case will have to be reopened. This... this is absurd! You cannot arrest me! Objection! Objection! For the last 18 years, an innocent man has suffered greatly in your stead. Mr. Gustavia, it's now time for you to atone for your crimes! Okay, so the son was never killed. Damn it! That would have been such a cool twist! That would have been such a cool twist! Oh well. Oh well. I finally earned my place as the greatest confectionery in the world to achieve that goal. I cast aside even my own son. Yeah, so he is that harmless. Damn it, it would have been cooler if his son was killed. He wanted to take revenge and then he just decided to pretend it did this fake shell that his son didn't care for it, and he threw everything aside just to put in the hard exterior. Damn it! What a shame. You can't run from your crimes any longer. And then, pfft, he's gonna freak out. Here, go here it comes! Hey, it's himself! Wow, that's really good. Whoa. He just cut himself up. Talk about a freak out. Thank you, Savi has been taken to custody, sir. Um, yeah, so you're up next, right? Yes, I understand. Kate, everyone, I'm truly sorry for all the trouble I've caused. And thank you very much for catching Monsieur Gustavio. What do you. What you, what you did cannot be overlooked. Even if the crimes she commit were in response to past injustice. A prosecutor, the prosecutor... I'm terribly sorry what happened. No. I am only getting what I deserve. Since I was the cause of all of this. Kate, will you have me as your attorney? I'm not quite the same useless kid I was 18 years ago. I won't let them find you guilty. Oh, Look at him. Oh, Monsieur Shields! Yes, thank you so much. Look at those giant tear gloves! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but it's time to go! Yes, alright. He's crying marshmallows. Judge Courtney, I can't help to feel that you've been dishonest with me. Dishonest? Whatever do you mean? You said that the verdict could not be overturned, but that was not the case. A reinvestigation and retrial were obviously required as soon as the missing body was found. I have no need to answer you. It seems she doesn't intend to ever give me an answer. So she's doing something. She's li She's holding something from us. Prosecutor Edgeworth, the PSC uh, as you in its sight. They will receive a report on everything you did here today. And you will most likely be required to appear before them. Oh. Now then, I should take my leave.
The PIC, goddamn. Hold on, Mr. Edgeworth! Got the real bad guy! Didn't he do his job as a prosecutor? No matter how things turn out, I will never regret what I did here today. Mr. Edgeworth. Hey! Prosecuting Edgeworth! That's the best ace theme. I this is the best ace theme! I'm not kidding, this is his theme. Even when he taught, when he throws a crazy theory away, this theme plays! Hey, what is it? Well, why are you always sticking your nose into cases that you're not even involved with? My duty is to reveal the truth. By the way, you want to know how old this guy is? This is how old he is. He's 17. In reality, his logic is absolutely absurd. Like, he's like, here's evidence. Here's a theory of how he went. Use the evidence he just gave me. Oh, yeah, I guess that contradicts it. That's literally how it goes. Like, not only as a prosecutor, it's just who I am. I don't get it. As long as you continue to think that being the best is all that matters, I doubt you ever will. Well, I don't get that either. I'm going home. He made a marker. What was that all about? There's, there's still much he needs to learn. Hmm? Me my really? What is it? I knew Greggy's son could do it. I think I might be falling for you. Oh no, he's attracting all the women again! Remember, Delisha is apparently... Really, is apparently old. Thanks for helping, Jeffy. Well, um... Yo, Edgy, great solving the case! Well, I was busy drawing, so I really didn't catch all of it. Huh? Where did Katie and Justy run off to? Loris? You weren't really paying much attention at all, were you? <coughs> well... I have to admit it, but Larry Doodles actually helped us out a few times. I should have to say something nice to him. Don't glare at me! I'm sorry! That was not my intent to glare at you. <laughs> that depends on the edge of glare. Just, you're just like your other man. Uh, is that so? Well then, Uncle Ray's gonna pay Mr. Master a visit. You guys wanna tag along? I'd be happy to accompany you. Oh, me too! Why are we... I have a bad feeling. So this is Jeffy Master. What's he like? Oh, he's a real nice guy, gentle guy. He's still doing his best to make people happy. He actually cooks desserts in for the inmates. Nowadays, all the prisoners and guards look forward to, sna to, sn to snack time at 3 o'clock. Wow, that's nice. I want to eat the desserts too. So this chocolate cake we saw in the prison the other day. He was the one who made it. Oh, well, he still has his gray hair. Oh, Gami, why are you here? I heard everybody was coming to visit, so I escorted Mr. Master myself. Here comes Mr. Master. Hello. Hello, one and all. I'm Jeffy Master. Well, he got old. Look at those wrinkles. Prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, at your service. And I'm Master Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Mr. Master, Miles is your old defense attorney's son. You mean Mr. Gregory's? Your father has done so much for me, and yet I betrayed his good faith when I made that false confession. I've heard the details from it, Mr. Shields. Mr. Master, I came here today to tell you everything we've learned about the, about 18 years ago. 18 years ago? Mm-hmm. Kate committed a crime for my sake? Why would you do such a thing? Miss Hall has been trying to prove your innocence for the past 18 years. She was willing to do whatever it t took to save you. Kate, she shouldn't have gone through so much trouble for an old man who let her down. Mr. Master, I don't think you realize just how much Mr. Hall cares for you. There's something here that clear is an unbreakable bond. It's the chocolates. Chocolates. These chocolates. Did Kate make them? She did. They're really sweet and tasty. She's been making these chocolates for the past 18 years. 
So that she, she could give to you whenever you returned. Kate. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I'm sure they're very, very sweet. Yes, they truly are. Unfortunately, I cannot give them to you now, but... I can hand them over later in secret, pal. Is it against the rule? It's against the rule, but right now, I don't have the authority to stop him. <laughs> you don't have the authority to stop him. Oh, thank you very much. Say, you remind me of an old friend. Do you know him uh, Do you know him of Detective Bad? Of course I do. Detective Bad is my number one role model, pal. He's not joking. How uncanny. Talk about fate. Mr. Master, it looks like we're going to be able to get you out soon. I can only apologize that it took 18 years to do so. Raymond, I'm the one who should apologize to be apologizing. No, that's not it. What I really should be saying is... Thank you. Mr. Master, now it's my turn to wait for Kate. I'll make her favorite speech every day until she returns. Aw, he's gonna return the favor. Look after her, Raymond. You got it. So you're probably gonna be in jail for five years for theft, that's it. Yeah, I have an incident. The case I inherited from my father. After 18 long years, it's finally coming to a close. Miles, thanks for today. I'm sorry for leaving you that final decision that final decision to you. No. I made that decision of my own free will. Eh? What are you talking about? To arrest Gustavia, we had no choice but to use Ma Master's false charge. <laughs> to use Master's false charge, which I was originally supposed to protect him from, the attorney inside of me simply could not do it. So that's how it was. But after this, Uncle Ray is going to, to try and clear away that false charge as well. Yes, I understand. What? But if they find out about the false charge, they won't be able to arrest Mr. Gustavia, right? That's true. It sure, it, it sure is a contradiction in the law. Ooh! The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. A contradiction in the law. Well, who knows what will happen. The law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. Just like Uncle Ray and Miles grown, you know. People and the law both grow. That's true, the law always needs to change according to society, because sometimes the law... Sometimes society changes in such a way that the law does not hold up anymore. And people will get away with crimes. To fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people as a defense attorney, I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I will. Well, if you ask him Gray, you will always be welcome down in the office. Alright then. Alrighty then! Looks like it's time for Uncle Ray to get going. And this is Shields' theme. I love his theme. Next time I see you, I'm sure to thank you again. Really though, thanks for today. Ta-ta! It's... Mr. Shield seems to be in a bit of a hurry. Indeed, I should be the one. I should be the one thanking him. I was able to face my father's last case because of him. Yeah, when I was young, I wanted to become a great defense attorney like my father. However, under the prosecutor from Garmin, I learned the ways of, the pros of a prosecutor. Thanks to a certain friend, I was able to discover my own path in life. However, right now, there are forces trying to take take me off the prosecutor path. Maybe now is the perfect time to think about how I should live my life. Edgeworth Law Office. Gregory, I'm sorry that it took so long. It may have taken 18 years, but finally we've proven Mr. Master's innocence. Miles, your son, help me with that. The way he fought for the truth. He was just like you, Gregory. <laughs> I'm still not the kind of attorney you were. But I will forever carry on. The convictions I inherited from you. That was them together. And if I can... <laughs> together with him. 
I like how I was like, do I have to do this? To fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people's life as a defense attorney. The path I choose is... We know which path he chosen. We already know that outcome. He chose... The Forgotten Turnabout. Just so you know, this is not a big spoiler for the game, but it's pretty obvious. In later games, Edgeworth is the head prosecutor. So he stays a prosecutor. We're gonna save. Man, that finale was longer than I thought. I thought we had to do a part of the first of the next case, but for now. Yeah. Let's say let's save state just in case. But for now, we're gonna call it a day here. If you're wondering why. Well, we've been streaming long enough. If you were charged with joy... Uh, okay, if you were charged with joy, please... Please, follow us here. Check our Twitter for notifications. Join our Discord. We're also part of the Diamond Alliance. And be sure to check out the other people of the Diamond Alliance as well. I'm going to check if one of them is streaming in a moment. Uh, check out our Twitter. Check out my personal Twitter. I am Codlol. I'll check out the other man. That is Brian, Kepatu, and Brownie. It will come up according to screen there. That's how that's how it works. And again, it doesn't want to scroll. It's not showing the other commands. I guess it just knows it's the commands. All oh, right, it's blocking Moobot. That's why. Die. And be sure to check our archive for oh, archive for future of for where our videos will go. This is Call of JZ signing off with Miles with Ace Attorney Investigations 2, the Prosecutor Pathway. Next time we dive into the next episode. This game is still not done for a long shot. See you all then, and remember to stay charged. Bye. Oh, by the way, Vector. No, oh, I said Vector, not Hey Vector. Never mind. Let let him sleep. Good night all. I tried to hit, uh, one moment. I'm gonna first check if someone I know is streaming and send them your way. And then I'm gonna end stream because for some reason, XP decides to stop not doing things. Oh well. Nope. When people first came. Nope, no one interesting. There's an ad being played. Oh well, we'll end it here. And the stream won't end because X play froze again. Ooh, ooh. I don't get X play why it keeps freezing. I think it's just an unstable patch. Oh, come on, you are responding. Okay, see you all later. Bye. I really need to make a hotkey for that.